<laughs> G'day, Stu from Your Open Futures here, and today, well, we're going to be checking out the Turtles 135. I'm going to link it down below. This is the part two video. If you haven't seen part one, go and check out this card that popped up there, and in this part two, I can't believe I was so stupid. I mean, I've been flying drones for a long time, and something happens with this one in the part two with the Turtles 135. We're trying to check out, is it a good beginner quad? Because look, it can be pretty cheap. I think the kit version is like $135. I'm not too sure, I'll link it down below anyway. But what it is, it, in the part one, you know, it's designed to be a beginner drone. So that's what we're gonna find out. How does it fly around? And some things happen that, well, to be honest, I'm a little bit embarrassing when we finally found out what the problem was. But definitely stay tuned because this is where we have a hand over to Grumpy Drev, chase some DVR, hand over to Crash Just Cow, hit it with the speed gun, and also have a few laughs and check out the Turtles 135. All right, let's jump out of the field, have some fun in three, two, one. Boop. Radio out here in the field. Let's do it. We're going to rip it around with the Turtles, little 135. We're going to put a forest on here, rip it around, show you guys some DVR, then hand over to Grumpy Trev and Crash Test Cow. All right. Let's do it. Okie dokie, here we go on board with the turtles and uh, check this out going up and look at that roll. It's sort of falling out of the sky. That's not me being a good acro pilot. That's just how unstable this thing is. So I was kind of, you know, a bit freaked out. So I thought, well, let's test it out a little bit more, sort of getting to know the quad. And when you take it out, look what happens because it is a very, very sketchy quad, especially for something that's meant to be designed for beginners. So we're going up in the air, under throttle, it's okay. Not too many oscillations, but when you start to let it off, check this out. It is just all over the shop, completely unstable, and that's not how it should be because what that is, it's kind of a little bit embarrassing. We thought it would be all these other problems, and we'll talk about what sort of causes that at the end of the video. If you know, put it in the comments down below, but I can't believe how silly we were. Now, look, once you fix that, it was an actual okay flyer. I would say I would probably give it like a 5 out of 10, and my only real advice would be if you can get one of these really cheap, then it's going to be worth it, but otherwise, you've got much better options. Things like the XJB, some other budget quads out there are going to perform a million times better than this and the only reason I'd be getting this is if I found one on a really good bargain. So I'm going to say probably give this one a miss. I wasn't the biggest fan and that's not just because my one wasn't working you know perfectly because I had that setting change. For me it just wasn't the most fun thing. It didn't have very much power and yeah only get one of these if you find one on an absolute bargain. Anyway what we should do let's hand it over to Grumpy Trev see what he thinks. Radio Trev, so uh, things didn't go so well when I flew around my turtles. What did you think of your turtles? How does your turtles fly in the air? <coughs> well, look, it was nothing to write home about, but it was okay. I would have thought it was fine for a beginner. It was quite stable. All right, all right. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get your impressions when you're flying yours around, and then uh, we'll sort of compare it to what you think mine's like. Because they're they're identical right now, right? Yep. All right. Let's get yours and then let's get mine. So you tried to do a flip, did you? Well, I just want to know how's yours going? How's your turtles going? Well, it flies okay. I was just trying to do a roll. Yeah, that was fine. Come out of it okay. Yep. Can you actually, I'm watching your DVR and my goggles and this will be on the screen as well. Can you go up in the air and just let off the sticks a little bit? I want to see what happens. Okay, yeah, that is completely different to how mine is flying. Yeah. Yeah, I did see yours. It was terrible. Which is not good. I mean, look, look at that. Yeah, mine was like all over the shop. It was windy when we were flying this the other day and this totally different quad was sort of a bit a bit shitty the other day. Mm -hmm. But uh, I wouldn't suggest flying them in the wind, I guess. That's probably the best way to say it. But... This is a very strange review for me because mine's not flying good. What are your thoughts on your one? Well, mine's great. Uh, but, you know, it's not good having a bad one. But uh, I don't know. I, I like it. I just, I like flying it the other day. I thought it was good. Look, it's not up there with uh, some of the other ones, but uh, it's it's reasonably cheap. For someone that's starting off, a little quad that's not going to break the bank, this would be okay. All right. What would what some what's your grumpy Trev rating out of ten for your one? I'll, I'll give it a seven. Yep. And what about value for money wise? Value for money about an eight. All right, Trev. I'm going to leave you to it because it looks like you're enjoying yours. Yeah, it's. And good. then I want to put crash test cal on and see what's going on with my one. All right. Thanks, Trev. So, Cal, this is interesting because we've got Trev's turtle. My turtle, turtles I should say, you flew this the other day and I'll link Trevor's video down below as well. What did you think of this with Trevor's turtle? Sum, sum up your experience with that. Uh, look, I thought it was pretty good beginner's quad. It wasn't too, uh, it wasn't too crazy, but uh, it was 
pretty stable flyer, I thought. Yeah. All right, are you ready to try this one out? Because you're going to be someone, you've tried them both. So it's going to be interesting to see how you compare this one to remembering how that one flew. You ready? Are, are they supposed to be identical? They're identical quads. They came out of the same, like I've seen Trevor's box versus my box. His had instructions, mine didn't. But it's going to be interesting to see how they go. It's interesting to see what you think. Ready? All right, let's do it. And I'm sort of warning you too, just can you take it easy around us before you start ripping it so just take it around and go up to a little roll and i want to see what you think all righty you got oh, it does, it's armed i just don't have the auto arm on just don't spin yeah it's got like whatever the motor stop on there or whatever oh that's a poxy setting yeah i know all righty yeah all right take it up take it up and then do a roll how was it not too bad what yeah yours looks fine Bro, oh, 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 oh. oh okay, what yeah, happened then? It just spazzed out. It just totally became yeah. unresponsive. I want you to take it up and kill the throttle. I don't have the car. Kill the throttle. Oh, oh, oh yeah. No. <laughs> wow. Okay, what's going on there? Is there a difference between this one and the one that Trevor had? Yeah, this has uh, got some kind of malfunction. That gyro is not behaving as it should. I did turn the accelerometer off. Yeah, as I do with all my quads. Something that's not right. Oh! oh, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, no, this is crazy. This is <laughs> this is unflyable and dangerous. Does it feel okay with the throttle on? Yeah, it's still it's got a little oscillation. It's not it's not 100 percent at oh, all. Okay, we're going to play this game. You've got to come and hover in front of us about 10 feet up, and then you've got to do a roll with zero. So come, oh, hang on, hang on, and without without crashing. All right, Cal. Up, pop it, no throttle. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even make it halfway uh, around, mate. No, that was too crazy, man. I tried. It, just, it was, has got a mind of its own. It you, isn't. It's. It could do anything. You actually scared me. I thought you were going to come. Well, you should me. be scared. Maybe we, we need. Tra Wait, I'm going to get the riot shield. Well, that's only going to protect you, not me. Yeah, no, but I'm going out doing some filming. All right, let's get get this on the road. Come on, Cal, come do a flip in front of me. A roll, a roll. Oh, he's done it, he's done it, no! <laughs> okay, you know what, this is the secret when Cal, ah! <laughs> I actually fell over. Oh, and I, <laughs> Shield. Oh god! Everything, it looked like it's just going to slam into the ground, then it comes around at the last second. I'm actually sitting on my butt here, Cal, in a big pile of... Uh... Dog shit. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. Oh, no, you couldn't get Hang this. on, I'm not... Hang on, hang on. Let's sum this up, because I've been away falling over. What's going on? Look, you couldn't give this to uh, a beginner and hope that they have a great day with this. They're likely to end up uh, hitting themselves in the face. Uh, whenever you demand a, a, any kind of extreme uh, movement from the quad, it just it loses it. It just has a mind of its own. And as long as you just treat it docile and just do normal cruisy kind of activity, it's not a problem. As soon as you want to do a flip or a roll, anything could happen. <laughs> okay, so sum this up with Cal's famous four words for my version of the turtle, not for Trevor's. Too dangerous for humans. Okay, all right. Thanks, Cal. So, what, Trevs can still fly it? Well, yeah, it doesn't seem to have that. <laughs> that was a joke, mate. It's whoosh. All right, so a bit embarrassing, but we figured out what was going on with it, and we can't believe it was so simple. It's because it doesn't have that idle up, and it doesn't come with air mode on, which, Trevor, you've turned yours on, and I turned my accelerator on, accelerometer off, so uh, when it's up in the air, it's just falling. The pid loop's not active. So that is the difference. So I'm sure I'm gonna flash some footage at the end with this thing flying around where uh, we've actually turned air mode on or you know, turned up the idle up. But what do you think it's gonna go miles per hour in the speed run? I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna say 65. Wow. 68. Yeah, okay. I'll be Go. more generous. I'll give it 75. All right, let's do it. Ready to suit up? Yep, let's do it.
Alrighty, so there it is. There was my part two review of the Turtles 135, and I wish it was just called the Turtle. And it kind of is a bit of an accurate name. It does look like that. But for a beginner quad, if you get this, you need to know a little bit about drones to get it set up because one thing you definitely need to do is turn off that motor stop. You want the motors to be spinning or enable air mode because that's what Trevor had done on his and his initial setup. I just took mine out, tried to fly it like it came out of the box, and I was like, what is going on? On. I couldn't believe it because that's something that I haven't experienced in probably years. So it's actually been years since I've been flying a drone that doesn't either have air mode already or it doesn't have their idle up and it, you know the motors are spinning when it's armed and that's really important because it keeps the pid lift going and without that you see what happens. So overall it flies okay. I'm not really going to recommend it for you know when you can get some things like the XJB which are in a somewhat similar price. It's a pretty docile little quad. It's not going to be breaking any speed records or anything like that. It wasn't terrible as long as you fix up that sort of air mode or make sure that the motors you know there's that little motor stop box make sure that is not ticked because otherwise you're gonna have a bad day and it's gonna feel very crazy when you let off the throttle. When I was on the throttle, it felt fine and it would be a very, very easy fix, but a bit of a shame that it comes like that out of the box because I think it's going after beginners and this one is something that would trick them for sure. Anyway, what do you guys think? I can't believe how silly it was because it's been so long that you know I was thinking all hardware faults, we're trying to troubleshoot everything and it was actually something really, really simple that we haven't dealt with in a lot of years. So sorry about that. Subscribe for more FPV related content and and as always, happy flying. Here we go on board. Let's do a little bit more. Once I've finally turned on that off that motor stop, I should say, or if you want to put air mode on here, it's a very easy setting. It takes about two seconds in the beta flight configurator. I've crashed this thing a few times. I've changed the props out. And uh, overall, though, I must say, even though we've got a few little oscillations now, it is a much better flyer with that thing turned off. So make sure your motors are spinning when you arm the quad. You're going to have a much better time when you're flying around, which is how it should be for beginners anyway. So look, this is it. I would say I was pretty lucky here. I almost sort of lost it. I, you know, when in doubt, punch it out because I was starting to lose the, the video feed. There's some thick trees I was going through. So I just punch it up and then luckily got my video back. I didn't want to drop it in the drink. But overall, if, you get, if you're going to get one of these, and look, I wasn't really the biggest fan of it, make sure you're going to get one at a cheap price. Because if not, there's some much better options out there when they sort of start increasing. You can get things like the XJB, which I think are much better value. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Uh, subscribe for more FPV-related content, and as always, happy flying.